YouTubers, I know it's been a little while since I've done a, a new recording, but this is the uh, top five beaches. I always get asked by people, what are the top five beaches in Key West? Um, unfortunately, Key West, if you're, if you're expecting something like South Beach or the west coast of Florida, Sanibel Island, uh, Key West is not known for its beaches. Um, we do have beaches. They are nice, but they're not like long stretches of sand the way you imagine. Um, you might have imagined uh, Key West before you arrived here. So, going into the top five. Number five is going to be Smathers Beach. I like Smathers Beach. It's it's nice, really nice quality sand. You can sit on the beach. You're usually right across from a lot of hotels that people tend to stay at, like the Sheridan Suites. Um, walk right across. It's a fantastic beach to just go re relax and read a book or something like that. The water quality is not fantastic at Smathers, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, due to the angle of the island, the way the prevailing winds are, it piles seaweed onto Smathers Beach, and it can stink at low tide with all that seaweed kind of baking in the hot sun here in Key West. So you'll get used to the stink if you're sitting there, but it can be a little bit overwhelming in the summertime. So Smathers Beach, good place to sit in the sand, not a great place to go wading in the water. It tends to be a little cloudier. Um, number four beach is going to be Higgs Beach for me. Higgs Beach is a little further down from Smathers Beach. It's smaller, but nicer quality. Um, I think it's, it's a nicer beach. You have volleyball courts on the beach. You can hang out. They also have a pier, which has since been damaged by Irma, but should soon be repaired. And that pier was a great place to watch the sunset from. Um, Higgs Beach also has a restaurant there, Salute, which is really cool, so you can go uh, eat right there on the beach. So Higgs Beach is a great hangout spot, for sure. I, I like Higgs Beach a lot. Number three is going to be the Southernmost Beach. Uh, at the Southernmost Beach Cafe, there is a small beach with another pier. Now, m many people go up to that resort and think, oh, that must be owned by the Southernmost Beach. It is not. It's a public beach. Um, you are able to go there without buying anything at the restaurant, so don't feel obligated um, to you know, spend money at the restaurant. They do not own the beach. It is a private. It is a public beach. Sorry. Southernmost Beach is, is nice because it has the pier. It's at the end of Duval Street. Um, so you're already kind of in the mix of things. It's easy to go downtown from there. Plus, you have the Southernmost Beach Cafe right there, which is great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And they have a good happy hour. You can get you know all the drinks you want right there on the beach. And it's a, it's a pretty easy access to a nice bar while you're sitting on the beach and having a good time. So I really like Southernmost uh, Beach. Number two beach that I like is... I know it by the old name, Bum Beach, but that has since been cleaned up substantially. It is Simonton Beach at the end of Simonton Street, all the way downtown. Um, excellent water quality there. A lot of current rips, uh, you know, through, go through that front of the beach, so it clears out all the seaweed. Great swimming quality. You get to watch the boats go by. Um, there is a pier there as well, and there's also a great restaurant, new restaurant there called Loggerheads. Uh, they do really good fish tacos and stuff like that. You can get a beer right there on the beach. It's also a little bit less crowded. So I like that beach because you're going to be with, you know, maybe 20, 25 people as opposed to, you know, 200. So it's kind of a hidden gem, Simonton Beach, but that is one of my favorite places to go at the end of Simonton Street. Number one beach in Key West, without a doubt, is Fort Zachary Taylor. It's fantastic for Key West. Um, the sand quality tends to be a little rougher. It's a little more like coral sand. So, you know, you're probably going to wear your sandals or flip-flops on it. But it is comfortable enough to lie down in. They did bring some sand in after the hurricane. So it is beautiful. And the location is the best. You are at the true southernmost point on the island of Key West. Um, they have barbecue pits everywhere. So you can sit there, literally spend the whole day there. It is a state park. You don't have to worry about anyone hassling you. you can Once you pay your entry fee, you can be there for 10 hours a day if you'd like. There's great shade cover. So for those of us that don't like to get baked all day long, Great Australian pines. Um, I know they're not native trees, but they are awesome for shade cover while you're barbecuing. Picnic tables. So you can kind of do a do-it-yourselfer. I know Key West can be a little expensive, so it's nice to go to Winn-Dixie or something, pack up a whole barbecue set, and go down to Fort Zachary Taylor and spend the day because you'll have an excellent time. The water quality is fantastic there. The Atlantic Ocean comes right through that beach. So you can do some excellent snorkeling in clear water without any seaweed at all. So... Fort Zachary Taylor by far. It is a state park, so it is $1.50 or so per person. Typical state park. But by far, number one beach in Key West is Fort Zachary Taylor. Now, if you're lucky enough to be able to charter a boat to go further out, there are two amazing beaches. Well, more than two, but the two I'm going to talk about are Boca Grande Key 
So you can hire a private boat, a six-pack boat or whatever, and say, hey, I want to go to Boca Grande for the day. It's about 13 miles to the west of Key West. Pretty easy access to it. Deep water channel, gorgeous. Kind of looks like the Bahamas, long sandy beach. You're out by the Marquesa Keys. There's nobody around. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place if you can get a private charter. Another excellent point is Snipes Point. Um, about three football fields of white sand, it looks like the Bahamas um, again. So if you can do a private charter, um, see if you can either go to Boca Grande or Snipes Point. Um, and that's a pretty amazing place to go hang out as well. And those, those are the best beaches in there off the coast of Key West. So I hope this helps you guys figure out where you're going to end up spending your time soaking up the sun. But those are the top five beaches in Key West. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe.